across the board here, taking hatcheries. He really wants to, you know, ideally he mines from this base uh, as much as possible, put spines to, to slow on any attack on it, because this is a base that could be a contested one. Straylock later in the game may want to take this as he curls around the map. So the more you mine from this base, the better. Um, this top right base and these bases, like, there's no way straight at. This base you can, is safe, right? Straylock's never going to get there until, the, until you're already dead, so. Um, here comes the fusion core! Yes! Yes, the fusion core. I'm waiting for the BCs. Straylock knows his BCs, man. This guy loves the battle cruisers. Here's the Ultras Cavern as well. Oh, how would you cancel it? Like, why not get the Ultras Cavern? You've got, like, infinite money. You may want to get Ultras. You know, last game the Ultras weren't bad. If you clear out the ground, then you can come in with maybe a remax of Corruptors. But the thing is, is even Corruptors against the air army that Straylock makes, with the Raven, once the Raven count gets big, it's so hard to deal with Ravens. Um, a good chain fungal might do it. Here come Vipers. Could he abduct the Ravens? That could be good. And then, you know, he's looking for that chain fungal opportunity. Meanwhile, we have the, uh, the Battlecruiser energy upgrade going on there. Do this dance. It's the Battlecruiser dance. You're supposed to be doing push-ups when that happens. Right? The Fusion Core is doing push-ups. You guys should all do push-ups too, right? That's what you're supposed to do. Um... Meanwhile, Zancer's posturing around here. Now he's remaking that Ultras Cavern, continuing to try to get upgrades so he can switch to whatever unit, units he wants to switch to. Straylocks takes bases two command centers at a time. That's how real men take bases, two command centers at a time. I love Zancer taking this hatchery here. The more, sp the more creepy spreads, stack defense, he can slow down Straylock's fifth base. Uh, and Straylock really wants to get a fifth base, so... The more he can slow that down. Look at this. Three planetaries here. Straylock's really taking his time. He knows Zanster is getting bored last game. He knows Zanster doesn't have his late game stamina. So really just turning the game out. I'm kind of curious to why Zanster is not getting Swarmos. But at this point, with this many Ravens, Swarmos actually could, would be massacred by Seeker Missiles, kind of. So I don't blame him. Or like Emoto Cannons. But earlier you can get them. Um, and it can do great. Oh, the fungals! Not getting the connectors he wants. Gets one Hellbat. He really wants to get the chain fungals on the air army. There's one fungal. There's a second fungal. There's a third, a fourth. Oh, but the tanks are being pushed up and he's got to back away. Now this is when Shredder can come in and repair those units. Meanwhile, more bases everywhere for Zanster. SCV stealing some minerals, long distance style. It's pretty cool. Standing ahead of himself, trying to figure out where, what the disposition of Zerg Force is like. You can see there's a bunch of SCVs trying to repair up the Ravens. Oh! That fungal almost hit. More infestors being built. Zancers is trying to like slowly whittle down the forest with, with fungals. I think if he has Ultras clear out the ground first, then Fester follow through may be good. You know, Straylock needs to remember to keep getting his upgrades. Um, he, needs, he needs to get one more round of upgrades on his air. Finish off those. Zanster's continuing his air upgrades, at least some of them. But Straylock continues to slowly push the creep back. He wants, he wants to take out the fifth base. He's got these two command centers waiting to, to land there. He's slowly working his way up to the watchtower. Pushing the creep back. He doesn't want to go too far into creep, so he's just being very methodical. Zanster, a lot more gas in the bank. Of course, that's because if you look at the army values, Freelock has his more gas here, and also Zanster has been mining gas from a good chunk of the map. Continuing to push up is Freelock. Meanwhile, here comes the, the Road Charger Force. Too many tanks, though. Almost able to kill one. Zancer is trying to find an angle to approach this army. But Straylock is so methodical. It's just steadily pushing the creep back across the map. And there'll come a point where he pushes it back and he start, start killing bases, actually. Oh, he's coming up here. Straylock making a move. Uh-oh! The air army is away. The tanks are vulnerable. Here's a nice little engagement for the Zerg player. Oh, loses a couple infestors. The Hydras he doesn't care so much about. The infestors he does. Great chain fungals, though. There's the Yamoto. 
another fungal on these ravens could be key. Oh, even putting a sensor tower here to make sure the Zerg doesn't circumvent his force. Great moves here. A missile turret to make sure bird units can't get past either. Here come the planetary fortresses. And in more command centers, some of these will maybe be planetary fortresses. Some are going to move up to take another base up here. Straylock methodically shutting down the map. He's got three sensor towers up now. He's trying to build another one up here. The roaches are going to try to be a little bit annoying here. Another Roach counterattack over here, but that won't do too much. What is Zanster's Remax going to be? He's, he's pondering. He doesn't know what to make. He's not sure. I don't blame him for not being sure. It's a tough choice. What do you make to beat Battlecruisers and Siege Tanks and Ravens? And SCVs repairing everything. Very tough choices here for Zanster. He's got... 10,000 minerals and, and 12,000 gas here, so he can get anything he wants. He can make 100 mutilists. If Zanster wanted, he could suicide is everything he has, and he can make 100 mutilists. Now, he tried something similar to, like, to that last game. It didn't work out so well, so... Maybe infinite ways of corruptors? Maybe that's the right approach? One max of corruptors and the ravens can kill. The next max, maybe you'll break through and do some damage. Tough choices here. SCVs are starting to be suicided. That's always a bad sign when a Terran opponent starts suiciding all their workers. Straylock is content to, to give to give uh, Zanster more bases because he knows that, excuse me, uh, he just wants to get the ultimate Terran army. He's just playing it slowly and methodically. And it's almost where, like, maybe Zanster should have traded off the Roach Hydra earlier, instantly remaxed in Ultras, used the Ultras to take out these two bases and all the ground, then instantly remax and corruptors and just keep throwing stuff at, at Straylock. Because Straylock doesn't have that big of a bank. If you keep trading, if you find a way to trade and you keep doing it, he will run out of money. Uh, especially if you can use ultras to kill some of these uh, these bases uh, while, while that's going on. Two greater spires. This is extravagance. He's like, you know what? I don't just want a spire and a greater spire. No. I want two greater spires. Yeah. It lets me morph brood doors twice as fast. At least that's what I heard. It'd be pretty cool if it did that. Unfortunately, it does not. Meanwhile, uh, is that a, no more missile turrets being built up in case of a uh, mutilist transition or something like that? Or well, I mean, there's there's is a few mutilists, but in case there's a more serious one, why not get so much of missile turrets? Straylock's next goal, of course, is this base here is going to continue to advance across the map. Zanster is still at 115 supplies. Not sure what he wants to make. He's just stockpiling resources. Just stockpiling. What can you make that can beat battle cruisers? Tough choices. And you know, Straylock doesn't really want to commit on to creep until he knows what Zanster has. That's Straylock's strategy. Is he, he can adjust his composition slightly depending on what his opponent has. He can adjust it from being... You know, mostly battle cruisers to like all battle cruisers. Uh, of course, the ravens are actually instrumental. Ravens are one of the most important parts of this. Oh, can you chain fungal the Vikings? There's a second one. Going for a third. Ah, he's forced back, unfortunately. Meanwhile, a nice little counterattack here by Roach is going to kill some of the 44 corruptors. And he still has 12,000 gas. He made, he made 44 corruptors, and he still has 12,000 gas. That is, this is silly. This is just silly. Here come the mutas. Where are the corruptors? They're still being uh, all conglomerated somewhere. Aha! Uh -huh. Here comes the Yamotos. Kind of cool to see Yamotos take down mutas. Here are the corruptors. Oh, a couple getting tagged here by the Yamotos. Got to be careful of that. Uh, meanwhile, this roaches are still doing some damage here. Tanks are blasting away some of these infestors. Um, but he wants to find a way to take out the air army with the corruptors. That's his goal. Meanwhile, some of his bases are being taken out. Ooh, the overlord stash has been found. Tanks are here providing a screen. Oh, infestors, be careful. Those tanks will kill you. There's only, the two mutas just can't kill the SCVs and auto repair are doing too much. Here we go. Here come the Yamotos. Oh, it's, he's going to keep bleeding away to Yamoto Cannon. He's not careful. 
Oh, he wants to get 11 more corruptors before he engages. Okay. You know what's better than having uh, 48 corruptors? 59 corruptors. Yeah. 59 corruptors. Oh, it's a nice fungals. Yeah, he's actually stopping his army pretty good here. I'd almost drop a bunch of mules to repair really quick if I was straight off. Alright, wait, so how many corruptors are we at now? We're at 58 with 18 more in production? What is going on here? I don't understand. There's too many corruptors. Alright, watch the ravens here. The ravens and Yamoto cannons are gonna decide this battle. Here we go. Look at his spread. Oh, the ravens just did PDDs. All they did is P no, no seeker missiles. Just PDDs. But the PDDs are running out. I think you need seeker missiles, man. I think you need seeker missiles. Cause look at look at how many corruptors there are. What is going on? There's too many corruptors. You know what though? The Ravens got away. Meanwhile, this base is being taken off by ground. Um, Straylock needs an answer to Brood Doors as soon as possible. Okay, the two Thors. Are they in? Are they in Macho mode? No, they're in uh, AOE mode. He needs to get these Brood Doors. Look at the Brood Doors. There's 14. Straylock. Oh man, the Thors are gonna go down instantly here. These tanks are gonna should continue to attack. Yeah, I like this. If he can force the Breedords back, it'll buy him time to get Vikings. That's what he wants to do. Run, tanks. Oh, no! The money fungal. Now the Breedords connect. Tanks, run. Run, tanks. Tanks are going to get away here. Now the question is... Oh, you better land these quick. These, you do not survive against this many Corruptors. Land. All right, you got, it. You got them safe. Now, all right, tanks are kind of being... Oh, intercepting infestors. Infestors are very important here. And Zamster's out of resources. And if you look at it, you only have 27 drones. <coughs> Excuse me. And a lot of them aren't mining. So Zamster needs to actually get his drones up to a base. He needs to get them up here. Because he, Zamster cannot rebuild this army. And Straylock, so uh, what are the unit counts at? We're at 37 Corruptors against only 12 Vikings right now, but they're being built like maniacs. Units lost still favors uh, Straylock, but he's got to have time to rebuild this Viking count. Oh, the Ravens are very important. Hunter Seeker Missiles could be huge in this engagement. Now, he's got two options, actually. He could try to fight the Corruptors, or he could have the Vikings shift right click the Brood Lords and just go for the Brood Lords and ignore the Corruptors. All his Vikings will die, but if he can kill the Brood Lords, then his Thoris, of course, will be king. Um, we'll see. These are brave Thors. Oh, the Neuron of Thor. If the Thor shoots the Vikings, that could be huge. Here's some Vikings. The Thors are all being neutralized by the Neuron Parasite. A nice arc on the Vikings. Where's... Oh, I thought he's using Seekers. He's using PDDs again. I don't know if he can take the, the Corruptor. Well, I don't know. Who has more? Let's look at the unit counts. Yeah, there's too many Corruptors, not enough Vikings. Not enough Vikings. If you can retreat to a missile turret, that might help. Remember, uh, he's still actually killing with 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 his, with his mech army. He's killing all the buildings. So as long as he eventually kills the corruptors, oh, I don't know if he can though. We could be in a reverse base trade opposite of last game. Straylock um, has a lot of resources, uh, but he he can't beat this army. He should have dived the Brewdords maybe and. and put out a bunch of seekers on him, that might have worked. He needs to find a way to rebuild on... Um, I don't know, if he had bio upgrades, he could almost go... Oh, here we go! If he can... It's, I say these brood lords. Alright, get back to the turret, get back to the turret. <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, you know what, he can win a base trade. How many buildings does Zerg have left? Wait, there's only a single hatchery left. He doesn't have money to rebuild buildings. Zanster could lose in a base trade, so Straylock right now. You know what Straylock should do right now? I know how he, how he wins this. He kills all the detection. How many Overseers are there? Wait, wait, wait. 
There's no detection for Zerg. Only Fungal. He just makes Widow Mines. He masses Widow Mines around the map. And, and the Zerg army has to fly over them eventually. And he keeps hiding buildings and massing Widow Mines. Oh, Seeker, Seeker, before you die. That was unfortunate. Yeah, if he just goes for Widow Mines, I think he wins. But he's going five Star Ports, so he's going for air instead of Widow Mines. Now, there's 26 Corruptors, so let's say he needs to build 26 Vikings to beat this. Oh, it's a mouse problem. So, uh, let's, let's take a stock of things. Um, can he ever get 26 Vikings out in the field? He doesn't have the gas. He has the gas to get um, 15 Vikings. And I, I mean, maybe he can mine a little more, Game but resumed. I don't think he can win this going. Actually, 15 Vikings plus the 5 he has, that might do it. But I would have so much preferred to see him go Widow Mines. Oh, many Bear Landos quick. But you know what? I think he wins on the base trade. Look at Structures tab. This is all Zerg has left. Wait, how many drones are there? There's eight drones, so he can build He can build four extractors, but he's revealed. He's revealed. I think Straylock wins this. I think Navi is Straylock. Just goes for the base I think Navi wins. Where are the drones at? Okay, the drones here he's got. Because, uh, I mean, um, Straylock can just keep building orbitals around the map, right? He should be building command centers somewhere. There's a command center. Here's... Here's some star ports. Th this base should defend for a while with the missile turrets and, and the, uh, the plant theories. He can defend for a bit. I actually wouldn't mind using the Vikings and migrating the Vikings with the, uh, the turrets. Meanwhile, structures tab is what's important. A single extractor is left. A single extractor is left. Two more being built, though. Two more being built. We've got one over here. But they're all revealed, though, because uh, it's been revealed. So... Azancer is splitting his army up a bit here. Um, he might have to camp. Oh, 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 Straylock, be careful. Straylock cannot afford to lose too many units here. You know, okay, he's got a base set up here. Um, another command center to be built. Straylock is broke now, though. Where is this? He's at East of mine with his SCVs. Oh, no. His Vikings are dying on the rally point. He's, he's trying to build missile turrets to defend this. Watch your Vikings, Straylock. All right. Meanwhile, uh, where, where okay? Where are the last two buildings? There's two extractors enough, and they're both here. And there's enough to build two more, and he has two drones. These drones should be by other extractors. They shouldn't be here, right? Because what can they do here? They should be somewhere else, like up here, where they can build more buildings. But either way, here comes the attack on the starports. More Vikings in production. Straylock trying to get enough out to defend against this. Where is his fleet? All right, he's mustering a Viking fleet. Oh, be careful. Don't bleed away Vikings. Oh, Straylock. Oh, no. I think if he, he's bled away a couple... If he didn't bleed away the Vikings, I think he might have had enough he could do this. Now... Wait, he's getting a Banshee. Oh, he wants to kill the uh, infestors with the Banshee. Yeah. Oh, we kill a couple of Brood Lords. Meanwhile, over here, we do have uh, them taking out. Oh, no. There we go. There we go.